Uh, hey everybody, uh, I'm here today to uh, demonstrate how James McMurtry plays his classic song, Rachel's Song. Not song for Rachel, but Rachel's Song. Um, this is one that James plays uh, very regularly. It's, uh, he played it a lot on the streams. And it's one that I love to play as well. I play it often. Um, so today what I'm going to do is just show you the, the structure of the song. Um, in the link, or excuse me, in the description below is a link to a full performance that I did. Geez, it's been a year and a half now since I put that up. Um, and a little Easter egg for you here. If you're watching this uh, before my next stream coming up on the 23rd of April, uh, just a couple days from right now, uh, I'll be playing this song during that set. So uh, if you want to see how I'm doing these days, I have to say I do it better than I did in that recording a year and a half ago. Any case, um, this song uses, it's a natural tuning. Yay, no fancy tuning. Um, and it uses a set of changes that uh, James uses again and again and again. And he manages to make all these incredibly distinctive songs with the same damn chords, man. The guy's a freaking genius. Uh, psh, other songs that use this uh, set of changes include uh, Lights of Cheyenne, Carlisle's Hall, Canola Fields, uh, South Dakota. The list just goes on and on. So I also have in the description a link to a little five-minute or so demo I did. Geez, coming up on a couple of years ago now. Um, just on those four changes in natural tuning because James uses them so much so you'll have some more info there too. So let's go ahead and, and jump in. I was just doing the intro uh, basically the verse uh, uh, phrasing uh, at the open of the video here and so let's take a look at our positions. Um, we're going to be basically we're going to be leaving these two fingers right here the third and the fourth finger on the third fret of the B and the E strings pretty much all day long. We're going to be doing those four things. That's it. This, 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 and this. And it's just a question, like so many of his songs, of doing them in just the right sequence with just the right timing to make it Rachel's song and not Carlisle's song. Okay, let me just run through uh, basically the, the intro, the, uh, excuse me, the introduction and the verse phrase are essentially the same thing. It's going to start on this kind of an E minor, I'm going to call this the E minor-ish shape, then we're going to go to kind of a D, it's got that sus thing working, and then it's going to go to the C, and then finally, and it's going to do that a couple times, and then the third time through is the different one, he goes from the E minor to the D to this G first, and then the C. And then one more time with the... All right, let me run through that uh, back to back. That's the intro, it's also the verse, okay? The, the verse is the same every time he plays it through the song. And so the other section we want to take a look at, we'll look at three sections. The verse we've just done, we're going to turn our attention to the chorus now. Then I'll come back to how he kind of jams in between verses. Spoiler alert, it's just the verse progression. Okay, the chorus, we're going to start in the D shape. We're going to go to the G and the C. We're going to do that three times in a row, and then we're going to end with the same phrase from the verse, E minor, D, C. So it's, when I'm all alone, it's all right, in my womb, my pride. If anyone can claim they're all right, so can I. Okay, so it's the D, G, C three times and then E minor, D, C. Now, when he does his little uh, jam in between the verses, as I say, it's just the same progression. So I'll run through a couple of uh, segments that I do. What I try to do when I'm, when I'm riffing on that, once I get land on this position in the C, then I start playing around with this index finger. So you can do 
that's about all I can pull off uh, in that uh, in this kind of a thing. I just try to stay on stay on time and kind of let my hammer on pull off thing just go. Uh, you know, do what works. Uh, for a while when I was playing this, I was getting pretty fast on it and maybe a little too fancy there. Maybe maybe a little bit of less is more uh, is appropriate there. Of course, that is absolutely a matter of taste. You play it how you want to play it. All right, so I'm going to now do uh, a one verse, the chorus, and I'll do half of the jam thing. Just kind of put all of the things I do together, and we'll call it a we'll call it a wrap. So that's basically it. You use those sections, uh, build them together. When you take a look at uh, uh, one of James's performances uh, on the stream or my version, whichever, you'll see those are the pieces and they just fit together. So uh, have at it, practice them uh, separately and then try to weave them together. You got any comments, questions, more requests, as always, drop them down in the comments. Happy to, uh, happy to help out. Thanks very much for watching everybody. Take care. Hope to see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.